Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Raka Kodash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, starting with the 144,000 men of Israel, which would consist of the servants, the prophets, whom have been ordained since the foundations of the earth to sing this new song in these latter days, which comes in the form of this gospel, which would rest upon the heirs of the men, women, and children of Israel, the innumerable multitude that may be scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a brief lesson uh, that came upon me yesterday while meditating, you know, on this, you know, beautiful word, you know, that Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai allowed us to be a part of. You know, as men, women, and children, starting with the men of the Lord, Abaratazah, where those men, all right, beginning with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down. And, uh, and I was just meditating, you know, on how, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai showed us great mercy in, in allowing us to uh, draw, draw near unto him, you know, because we understand, you know, that pursuance of faith, you know, which is a gift. And you know, the spirit to rest upon you to repent and turn back to your power. It's something that you can't just conjure up on your own. All right. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai would have had to handpick you to come back unto him in these latter days and efforts to fulfill biblical prophecy, man. And possibly, and possibly be numbered among that precious number, man, of the elect of Israel. And if that's the case, okay, if we are. Uh, that remnant, okay, that elect, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to spare us, man. Okay, as it says in Malachi, like a father spares his own son that serveth him, man. Okay, we're going to be spared, even if we have to uh, be a mortar. Okay, even if we have to fulfill Revelations 20 and 4, understanding that that's the golden ticket to the kingdom of heaven, man. Pursuant to 1 Thessalonians 4. You see, so it is a great honor. Uh, to be able to dwell in the courts of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And I wanted to get into this lesson uh, in efforts to uh, uplift the spirits of first and foremost, the men of the Lord. You know, those of us out there battling, you know, on the front line, you know, we're on the battlefield, you know, battling these spiritual demons, you know, testifying our Savior openly, you know, in the eyes of the world, man. You see? So through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Let's start there in Malachi. Let's get that. Malachi, the third chapter. The book of Malachi, chapter 3. And I want to start at verse 16. And it reads, Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another. And we understand that to two-thirds of our people, they don't fear the Lord. Okay? They don't fear the Lord. And one of the main reasons how we know that is that they lack wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of our power. Okay? And scripture also goes into uh, those that love the Lord. Uh, what's that? Let me get this real quick. Sirach, I believe that's Sirach, the second chapter. Those that love the Lord will not disobey him. Okay? Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach, chapter 2. There it goes. In verse 15, it reads... They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. Okay, hey, look at two-thirds of our people. They're in open rebellion. Okay, you have a nigga talking about he got his niggas for Trump shirt on and he means that. Okay, you got an Eve uh, 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 <laughs> crying all day. Okay, over the Biden administration, man. Okay, Jake is through. Two-thirds of our people are out of there and they don't fear the Lord you see this is talking about the elect starting with the 144,000 men okay which would which would be made up of the servants the prophets man 
Abarathes, I wear one of those men, Akiyam. And they that love him will keep his ways, right? Obedience. Those that love him will keep his commandments as it's written. Okay, us men of the Lord. Okay, Abarathes, I wear those men. If we love the Lord, what did the Lord command uh, Simon Peter if you if you loved him? Feed his seat, man. Okay, that means what? Doing these digital epistles and going out into the highways and byways, man. You see? Fulfilling biblical prophecy. And this is what we're doing. You see, which qualifies us to hope to be part of that precious number, Akiyam. And you Akwath and children that believe this word, man. Let's go back to Malachi 3 and 16 and continue. Then they that fear the Lord, right? And the fear, is, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, right? Spake often one to another. And we do that on these, on these, uh, on the unicorn, man. <laughs> We're speaking often one to another on this unicorn. And then us brothers within these camps, we have, um, you know, certain chat boards, you know, that we, you know, congregate amongst each other with. You see, that's all through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. We're comforting each other with these words. You see? And the Lord, Salakia, then they that feared the Lord spoke often one to another, and the Lord Yahweh hearkened and heard it. And the book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord. See, not for the world, not for everybody, not for the whole nation, no, for the elect. Right? And that thought upon his name. See that? And only the elect are thinking upon the Lord's name. Scripture says the elect will praise. Let's go get it. Back in the book of Sirach. We can quote it. You know, but for edification, let's go get it. It's better to see it. Right? The book of Ecclesiastes, also known as the book of Sirach, chapter 17 and verse 10. And it reads, proving that that Malachi uh, uh, 3 and 16 it's, it's strictly talking about the elect, okay? And the elect shall praise his holy name, okay? You see? And the elect, they're going to be spared, man. As a matter of fact, let's go back to that Malachi. Let's continue on. Continuing on in Malachi 3 and 17. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts. See that? The Lord of armies. This is the energy he's coming in. He's dead serious right here, man. Okay? He's coming in a military, in a militant stance. See why? Because he's gonna fight for us, man. Doesn't scripture say, Sirach 4 and 28, strive for the truth until death, and the Lord shall fight for thee? See? <laughs> and they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies, man. And that day when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them as a man spareth his own son. That serveth him, man. You see that? So we qualify for that hope, for that mercy. Okay? We qualify to be spared. Why? Because we're no longer walking in transgression. We're walking the path of righteousness to the best of our ability. Offending less as it's commanded of us in the book of Sirach 17. Okay, another precept comes to mind. Let's get this real quick, back in that up. The book of Psalms, chapter 103. And verse 13, it reads, Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord Yahweh pitieth them that fear him. Okay, see how critical it is to fear the Lord? This is why scripture says, we quoted it earlier. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, man. You qualify to be, to be, to be spared, okay? You qualify for mercy, man. As a matter of fact, let's get this word pity real quick. It's pitieth. Let's get it. It's, it's going to be. Let's get, uh, let me see here. It's going to be pity. Because that's not going to come up. That old English isn't going to come up. Real quick in the etymology. Under the noun. And it reads. Uh, let's see here. Uh, compassion. You see that? Kindness. Generosity of spirit. Hey, and the Lord. Hey, the Lord is. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shalom poured his spirit out. Okay, first and foremost on the men of the Lord. Okay, and on the men, and on the men, women, and children that believe this gospel, man. See? Disposi disposition to mercy. Quality of being merciful, man. You get it. We qualify for mercy, man. 
<laughs> you see why? Because Yahweh Bashi Shai gave us the spirit to fear him. Okay? It's highly likely that we are that remnant. Akiyam and Aqua. It's highly likely. We qualify to hope they be that remnant. You see? Hey, that, that, that glitch in the matrix is resting upon us. Because you see everybody around us, man. These people are in the matrix, man. You can't tell our people not to celebrate their birthdays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, Valentine's Day, okay? Fourth of July or any of these wayward uh, heathenistic customs, man. You cannot tell two-thirds not to do it. You cannot tell two-thirds of our people not to vote. Why? Because these niggas are drunk, okay? And not with wine. They're staggering, but not with strong drink. Jake is revolted and gone, man. Consumed by the ways of Babylon. Okay? But not us one-third. Our baratas are we are of the one-third. Not us, not us of the hopeful elect. No. We've snapped out of it, man. Okay, we see the, the oppression and the yoke that we're under, man. We understand that we have no power in our hands, man. And we're serving our enemy to this very day. And we want out, man. And we want the kingdom, man. We want that everlasting rest. We want to dwell with Yahweh Shai. You see? We want Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai to be in the midst of us, man. We can feel him. Okay, we want to be back in those glorified bodies, man. We want to be incorruptible. We want sovereignty. Okay, we want the earth to be a paradise once more. See, Abaratiza, we're that remnant. Abaratiza. Let's get this. The book of Isaiah. Chapter 1. In verse 9, and it reads, Except the Lord Yahweh of hosts. See the energy he's coming in? Uh, once more. The Lord of armies. Okay, he's taking a militant stance. Except the Lord of armies had left unto us a very small remnant. Just like what he did with Noah. Pursuant to um, uh, Sirach 44, is it? Let me see. Let's go get that real quick. Noah was likened unto the remnant of his time. And it was only eight souls, man. Okay? And only eight souls got delivered out of the flood. I want to say it's a rock 44. If not, we'll search it up. If I can quote it. Um, is this a rock 44? Salakia. Four, I put four. If it's not 44, we'll search it up real quick because I think I can quote it. Uh, oh, there it goes. The book of Ecclesiastes is also known as the book of Sirach, chapter 44 and verse 17. And it reads, Noah was found perfect and righteous. Why? Because he believed Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. He didn't question Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah when he was told to build that ark and how to build it specifically. He didn't question them. As a matter of fact, he testified his Savior openly, man, and prophesied to you stupid, high headed, uh, melon head niggas for over 100 years, man. And you didn't listen, and that's why your ass drowned it to death, right along with everybody else at the time. Noah was found perfect and righteous. In the time of wrath. See that? That first death. He was taken in exchange for the world, man. Him, his wife, and their three sons, and their wives. Eight souls, man. Only eight souls made it out alive, man. Like it, They were likened unto the elect. Let's continue on. Let's prove it. Therefore, he was left as a remnant. See? Unto the earth when the flood came, man. And this is what we're liking to, man. 
We're lacking unto the remnant, man. Let's go back. The book of Isaiah. Chapter uh, 1 and verse 9. And it reads, Except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant. We should have been as Sodom. And we should have been like unto Gomorrah, man. If Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai didn't leave a remnant in these latter days, okay, and have them quickened through the Holy Spirit by the preaching of this word, we would have been as Sodom and Gomorrah. What happened to Sodom and Gomorrah, man? We know. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai had fire and brimstone rain down on Sodom, Gomorrah, Adama, Zoor, Zeboim. Okay? Why? Because of their wickedness, man. And we know that Jake, okay, has secretly worshipped idols, man. Okay? Will give sacrifices uh, not worthy, being that they were premeditated, it was premeditated wickedness, man. Jake will commit premeditated wickedness and then put up a sacrifice, you know what I mean? Knowing that they could, to the point where the Lord said, I don't, your sacrifice, I don't want your sacrifices no more, man. As a matter of fact, you want to worship these niggas on the low? Hey, tell you what, I'm going to throw you headfirst into captivity and you can worship them openly, man. And this is what we're witnessing this very day, man. Okay? As Jake worships. Uh, uh, Seizure Bourgia Serapis Crystals Okay And all these other Wayward philosophies And false gods man But not the remnant though See The remnant's gonna be found with no guile in their mouth man Okay the remnant The remnant they starting with the men of the Lord Are gonna be virgins man Pursuing the Revelations 14 not carried away by any of these dumb doctrines, man. We qualify to be part of that, man. Why? Look what we're doing. Look at the look at the 180 we've all made through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. We've done a complete 180, man. Our mindsets have been changed, man. Our minds have been changed. You see, we know the names of our power, man, in the, in the ancient Hebrew tongue, which is, which is uh, necessary to have. If we want to be delivered up out of here, man, we got to call upon that name. As a matter of fact, let's close out right here. We're in, we're in a privileged, blessed position. Because, you know, you take a glance and look at your family and your friends of the world. and Look at their mindset. You see? They're entangled, okay, with the ways, the thoughts, and the, and the, and the understanding of this world. <laughs> the book of Joel, chapter 2. In verse 32 and it reads And it shall come to pass That's prophecy Right? Prophecy means to say before Right? And it shall come to pass That whosoever Shall call on the name of the Lord Shall be delivered All the Christian Wacky tacky 501c3 Bugged out Christians in the back Sit your ass down Okay? Because we're going to continue to read Okay? Vocab Malone No, you don't got to You didn't just find the precept that, 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 that proves your universal doctrine. Okay? For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, man. Okay? Mount Zion, man. Zion going into what in the Hebrew? To Zion, which goes into monument or memorial, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has the remnant of Israel in remembrance, man. 
Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. And that's where deliverance is coming out of, man. Israel, our so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And we say it all the time. Yes, we do have speckled birds. Why? Because of the curses of Deuteronomy, specifically 28 and 64. We've been scattered throughout all four corners of the earth, man. Okay? So there's going to be Israelites that look like the other nations. But their bloodline, because it's all about the seed, right? It's all about the sperma. It's all about the bloodline. Goes back. Their bloodline goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. You see? They'll believe on the word. They'll call on the Lord. They'll change their life. They'll walk a path of righteousness to the best of their ability. That's a, that's a, that's an Israelite. A heathen's not going to do that. They're not going to be allowed to because Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shah is not going to draw them in. As a matter of fact, let's prove that point. I got one more precept and we're going to close out. As the Lord has said, and in the remnant that elect whom the Lord Yahweh shall call. You see? So it's Yahweh that's going to call that elect back into remembrance, man, to draw them to his son. Okay, and we can prove that. We'll close out right here. The book of uh, St. John. You Akiyam know where I'm going. You, you, you Akiyam not in this word, man. You know where I'm going. The book of St. John chapter 6. In verse 44, and it reads, No man, we'll close out right here. Abba is of the Lord allows. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me. This is red letter, man. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. Let's read it again from the top. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me draw him. And I will raise him up at the last day. We are in the last days, man. We're, we're, we're fulfilling this prophecy, Akiyam, first and foremost, man. Okay, and you Akwath and children that, uh, that, that are part of the innumerable multitude, man. This is playing out right before our eyes, man. And we qualify to be those men, okay, <laughs> that have been raised up. Our are, man, Lord willing. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kwedash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwath were edified. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Kal Halaliam La Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Widash, Shalawam.